Hello viewers, welcome to this video lecture series on Computer Networks Lab. In this session, I shall start with the very first experiment using the Cisco Packet Tracer. I have given the introduction to the Cisco Packet Tracer. Now let me start with the very first experiment. This experiment is basically just to connect two PCs. So here the simulation tool is the Cisco Packet Tracer student version 6.2. I have downloaded from the Networking Academy. Once you open this Cisco Packet Tracer simulation tool, you will get a screen of this sort. And on this screen, you will be seeing the different options. Like as I said in my previous video session, all the end devices and all the intermediate devices and the connecting tables will be available here. You can see here at the uh, bottom of the screen. Here, suppose if the category is router, once you click to router, you can check all the different routers available here. If you click to this category switches, you will be, I will just click one, yeah, look here, all these switches are available. Similarly, if I want to connect, uh, if I want to use PCs and uh, laptop, that is the end devices, I need to click here to the end devices. You can check here so many options available, like so many end devices available, the PCs, laptop, mobile phone. Let us see in future experiments, which are the end devices we will be using and also which are the intermediate devices that we will be using. In this experiment, basically connecting two PCs. So what I'll do is I'll click to this end devices, drag and drop. So your job is very simple. Here are the different devices placed. You need to drag this and drop it on the screen. By default, the names PC0 and PC1 will appear. So if you want, you can change this or you can retain it. Now you need to connect these two PCs to connect you click to this orange color symbol here you can see the different cables available now for this kind of connection wherein we are connecting two pcs we will make use of the cable okay and that cable is called as the crossover cable because these two devices which i am connecting are similar kind and for similar kind of devices we need to use the crossover cable okay for different devices we will be using the straight through cable you can see here the copper straight through is here select this copper crossover cable place it here you can see there are two ports you need to select the fast ethernet then connect it to the other pc you have to use the fast ethernet so the next step is you need to assign the ip addresses to these two pcs now normally uh, make a habit of first writing it on the label here so i want to assign 192.168.20.4 20.5 let me take this piece uh, ip address now here i have decided i will assign 192.168.20.6 so these are the two ip addresses which i am using see always you can select the label option from here this is the yellow color you can see to the right side of the screen on the top right so right side of the screen make use of this option to write the values in the label if you want to cancel it you can go to the topmost this is the dotted square type this is like escape so that will get cancelled now what is that you have to do since you have decided 20.5 and 20 see now one more thing i wanted to tell you here is i have chosen uh, class c ip addresses both these ip addresses belong to class c category the first three octets if you see here this first three octets 192.168.20 okay in this and here 192.168.20 these two these three octets for both this ip addresses is same the last octet is having the different number here 5 here and 6 here so in my theory video series i have given the complete explanation of how to select ip addresses for the different devices for your experiments so please watch that video session lecture number 64 and 65 of computer networks theory series now i have taken 20.520 20. so the last octet is different the last octet i have an option of selecting uh, 0 to 255 now let me assign the pcs for that you need to click here to the device that is pc0 go to desktop you will be able to select the option ip config here you have an option called ip address now assign 192.168.20. 5 this is what we decided now so we'll give 20.5 and this is a class c ip address by default the subnet mask will appear 
and also by default this static will be there static indicates that you are going to manually give the ip address and that subnet mask will appear by itself here rest of the options you don't have to worry presently close this window click to pc1 go to the option desktop go to the option ip config now assign ip address 192.168.20.1 six fine so the subnet mask will appear by itself now close this window now you have assigned these two pcs now your job is to check whether you, these two pcs can communicate with each other so very simple to find out to verify whether these two pcs can communicate with each other you need to use the ping command now let me just click to pc once again from pc0 i need to ping to pc1 so what i'll do is i'll click to pc0 i'll go to the command prompt fine now i will type here ping and i will ping the other device 192 dot so i am using the ip address of pc1 here i am in pc0 you can always check here also see on the top you can see this pc0 no so you can check here pc0 you are in pc0 to check whether pc0 can reach 192.168.20.6 press enter you will be getting a reply of this sort that means there are four packets here received from the 20.6 pc and if you receive the reply like this four packets you can see here packets sent are four received this line last line packet sent four received four lost is zero percent okay that means the pc0 is able to reach successfully to pc1 now let us check from pc1 also so we'll go to the command prompt of pc1 i am here in pc1 helping what 192.168.20.5 so i'll get a reply of this kind that means now even pc1 can reach successfully pc0 so this is uh, the way to check whether the host are reachable to each other so this is in the real mode suppose if you want to carry out using the simulation mode click to uh, simulation here and then you can select one simple packet place the packet on pc0 that means if you want to check whether this packet can reach the other pc first place it on the source host 20.5 is the so pc0 is the source host and pc1 is the destination host once you place like this you start using this play option here look here you can check here play you can see the packets moving from pc0 to pc1 so at at this point below this that means at the bottom of the screen you can check the status earlier it was in progress now you can see it is successful so source is pc0 destination is pc1 type of the packet is icmp and you are able to see that the packet has reached because the status has become successful it means that pc0 is able to reach successfully pc1 you need to stop this simulation now we'll do one thing we'll start once again i'll close this window not required now let me take pc1 as the source host so i'll click the packet i'll place it on pc1 now pc1 is the source host and next pc0 is the destination host now look here at the bottom of the screen you can see that it is in progress so once uh, the packet reaches successfully okay to pc0 let us see what will be the status here so here what i need to do is click to this play okay click to the play option the packets have started moving from pc1 to pc0 now the status is changed from progress to successful so this is another way of checking that means you have two different ways to check whether the hosts are reachable to each other this is the simulation mode and now i'll just show you you stop this and enter into the real time this is the very first experiment in the computer networks lab using the cisco packet tracer hope this session is useful to you all if you find it useful please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye and take care